Hey everyone, in this video here I'm just going to show you how to do a database backup um, using the all-in-one WP security plugin. Okay, the first thing you want to do is of course get it installed and once it's installed and activated you'll see a menu here that says WP security. Go to database security and across the top here you'll see DB backup. Click that. Now you can schedule a backup here if you wanted to and specify the settings and whether you want it sent to you by email but to do a manual backup just uh, click on the backup uh, create DB backup now button and it gets put in a folder um, in the plugins folder it creates a backups folder and puts it in there and we could download it right to our computer so I'm gonna go save link as and just gonna save it to my desk desktop here okay and that's it so now we have a backup um, in the in the event something goes wrong with our database. So now I'm going to go through the process of actually restoring the, the backup. Um, I'm going to pause the video, set that up, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm logging into my hosting account here. Now, in general, um, the database will still be intact when you, um, when you want to do the restore. But if not, you can actually go into MySQL databases, and then you can actually go and delete the database and then delete the user for that database or keep the user it doesn't matter and then recreate the database and then attach a user to the database with all privileges um, but like I said in general the database will still be there it just might be corrupt or there might be some other issue with it so what I'm going to do is go through PHP my admin to do the restore and on the left side I'm going to choose the database that I want to do a restore for now I'm going to drop all these tables here just to empty out the database. So do that and scroll down. Just make sure it's on the structure tab, which it should be by default. Then scroll all the way to the bottom, click check all. With selected, choose drop. And it's going to ask you if you really want to. You choose yes. So then the database is empty. So now we can import the the zip file that was created during the backup process. So what I'm going to do is click on choose file located on my desktop, double click it, and click go. Then everything gets, as you can see, all the tables get recreated here. So everything's back in place. And that's, that's all you need to do. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching.